Hey guys, it's Lindy's Benchmarks here, and in today's video, I wanted to install OpenSUSE as my main distro, uh, specifically OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. Um, I wanted to move away from from Fedora, as Fedora had became, um, you know, it was no real big issues with Fedora necessarily, um, just a, uh, you know, kind of backed by a company, Red Hat Linux, and, you know, they're the type of company that could, you know, ruin things at any point with a community-based distro. So I kind of wanted to leave Fedora and try and find something else that had more of a community focus where it's just like the core is you know the community and they have some sponsors and stuff like that and OpenSUSE I tried OpenSUSE Tumbleweed um, a couple a couple of weeks back um, but I had some uh, flat pack issues and I still actually have a flat pack issue which I'll go in into that in today's video but um, so I decided to install it and I've been using it for a week now or more than a week um, and here's my thoughts on it on using OpenSUSE Tumbleweed so first of all what is OpenSUSE exactly? Well, um, it's a, just another distro that you can install uh, that has, you know, Linux packages and you can install all types of different uh, versions of OpenSUSE. They have uh, three main versions that you can choose from. Uh, there is Tumbleweed, which is the one I'm using right now. And this is basically kind of similar to uh, maybe like an Arch-based distro. They do say it's a rolling release. So you're always going to be getting packages and there'll never be an actual um, feature release where you'll jump like a year ahead of certain packages like the other distro we have here which is called leap this uh, distro gets updates every 12 months um, but the one that i decided to choose was tumbleweed uh, it's you know, like i said it's a rolling release uh, and they do test packages before they release them so that's why i chose OpenSUSE instead of an arch based uh, distro uh, just just the fact of that that they do test packages uh, a little bit to before they release them so that there's a chance that you know if something is broken they won't release it until it's like you know fixed now the installation of OpenSUSE was uh, quite easy I would say there is no uh, live environment I'm pretty sure when I was installing it you have to go through just a um, just an install setup uh, through you know not through a live environment uh, which is perfectly fine I would say I, I never test the live environment um, as I don't know just you know, the live environment isn't as uh, powerful as like the main one that's it's that's installed on bare metal um, so this is perfectly fine this is kind of similar to how like um, Debian do does it as well um, so the installation itself is like I said quite easy you just go through you know install update you do repository stuff and then you get to choose like your desktop environment you get to set up you know username you get to pick your you know what you want to format or keep or do like manual um, partitioning all that stuff um, as you see here you can have different choices for desktops I chose KDE Plasma um, but there is GNOME XFCE um, a generic desktop a server and a transactional server I like I said I chose KDE Plasma but I I am running uh, Plasma 6 uh, Beta 1 at the moment instead of the 5.27.9 that it is on right now for regular Plasma 5 um, as I, I really wanted to, to use Plasma 6 as, uh, as my main uh, desktop environment as Beta 1 has gotten super um, stable I would say um, it's still a bit buggy there's still some freezes but um, that video will be coming later I'll make a, a different video on Plasma 6 to show you all the new features and stuff but um, installing this on here was actually quite um, a little bit of a hassle because I didn't really know what I was doing um, but back to the install like I said the install is super simple and uh, I would say that there is no issues with this type of uh, install now one of the good things that OpenSUSE uh, does bring to the table and I would say actually a great thing is if you're a like a new user and you you don't want to muck around with the terminal to install packages or check repositories or such um, you can go into their yast or yast i just call it yast um, software or just the administrator settings for yast which has a ton of different options to choose from for you know configuring 
um, installing or removing add-on products, uh, media check, like if you want to verify CD or DVD media, um, you can do an online update. So you can get packet, you can get patches to correct and improve your existing installation. You can get um, you know, software management and software repositories. So um, software management is where you'll install or uninstall. Or what I did was to um, install Plasma 6. I went into your software and I basically um, replaced all the Plasma 5 dependencies with Plasma 6 dependencies, um, which I did have to add um, a couple of re repositories as well from OpenSUSE experimental packages to actually get Plasma 6. So I can actually like replace it. Um, but this um, software uh, for grabbing your packages is really nice. At the, when I first started using it, I was quite confused, um, but you can actually go like on this view thing here, you can go patterns and it'll show you a bunch of different um, you know, options to choose from, from easily like installing KDE, um, GNOME. So if you want to install different desktop environments, like I installed GNOME Wayland um, and that installed perfectly fine. I was able to switch to it, test GNOME, which I didn't really like it that much. So I removed it and stayed on KDE. <laughs> But if we scroll down here, we have tons of more uh, different things. We have like your base technolo technology. Um, so if you want to install things from like a mobile stuff, um, change your base system packages, um, you can all do that. You can do even install start, start installing server functions. Um, you can go into your desktop functions. There is just tons and tons and tons of different patterns that you can choose from. Of course, if you don't do the patterns, you could just go to search. You can usually just search for something. I don't know if OBS exists. Um, maybe, maybe not, but like, you know, see some packages that showed up um, here it is over your studio um, so you can install that if you want to you, um, there's different kernel builds all types of things in, in, in your software i would say which is a really good thing as um, lots of new users they don't want to touch the terminal so your software does solve that i would say it makes it quite simple for the user to understand how to grab packages remove things update things um, and we can also go into software repositories so this is where you'll customize all your repos um, you see here i have quite a bit of different repos that I've added. I've added the unstable frameworks, uh, QT6. I've added the, uh, this is actually already included. Uh, I've added the VK capture plugin for OBS. So that's a community um, run uh, repo, which includes the VK, uh, VK capture package for OBS. So I can capture Vulkan windows. Um, and there's also some other things, you know, like the KD unstable applications, KD unstable extra. So this is what I, I needed this, 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 and this to actually switch fully over to Plasma 6 um, to, to replace the Plasma 5 packages. Uh, but usually those won't be there. It would just be these ones here. It'd be that one there, that one there, that one there, and that one there. Um, you can easily edit these, remove them, add new repos if you want to. And uh, yeah, I would say that's really good. You have plenty of other things. You can customize your bootloader easily as well, which um, that's something that usually you don't get to have in Fedora or whatever. Like you can go into your terminal to customize it but you don't actually have like a GUI option to do it so that's why I like YAR so much is mostly everything is a GUI so I can just like easily change things of course you know if you use the terminal and you love using the terminal that's awesome um, you probably understand it a lot more than I do <laughs> but you know you can easily do other things like customize your firewalls so if you want to add different ports um, to allow uh, to be opened um, like I was trying to send the OBS NDI plugin to my second PC for streaming. I was able to go in the firewall, add the right port uh, numbers to allow so then I could actually get the capture of this computer to show up on my second PC with OBS NDI. Now, the next thing that you can do on OpenSUSE is you can go to their software page. So if you can't find a package or you want to search up some packages before you install OpenSUSE, that's what I did is I you know, check the kernel um, mess of packages to see what it was running um, currently. Or if you want to um, find some experimental or community packages. So for example, I've got Discover OpenSUSE Open right now because I was trying to figure out if the um, Git version of Discover was available in OpenSUSE for Plasma 6 and it is not currently so that's sad um, but it's alright because 5.27.9 version of Discover runs perfectly fine I would say but as you can see here we could easily search for like let's say Mesa for example so if you want to look at um, when Mesa 23.3 will, co will come to OpenSUSE I've been wondering when that will arrive um, it should be pretty soon uh, but you can see here um, the official release is on 23.2.1 we can look at experimental packages um, which are in testing and in xorg as well 
um, or we can go to community. So if you want to grab a Git version of Mesa, you can definitely do that. Um, I did try to do this and it did not go so well. Um, it did work, but it, it was not actually using my AMD GPU driver. Um, there was some issues that I was having that I just could not figure out because I am nowhere near as knowledgeable when it comes to, you know, using, getting MessaGit to work properly with these community packages. Uh, MessaGit's always worked properly on Arch, but um, not on here. These ones were um, a bit iffy and they did work, but the like I said, it wasn't using my AMD GPU driver. Instead, it was using um, the OpenGL, it was like LLVM pipe, I think it was called, um, which is the OpenGL driver. So things were like really glitchy and stuff. So, uh, but yeah, if you want to, you know, install uh, community packages, you can definitely do that. Um, if you just want to check packages here, you can do that here also. I think that's pretty cool. Um, and we can also look at the other one, which is when you click on like a community main package, it will go to this website, which is called build.opensuse.org, which is um, similar to to um, you could say like the AUR example, so or the uh, Fedora Copper repo, very similar to that. So you can just search up any package you want and hopefully someone is like building it on their own uh, repo. So for example, like VK Capture, I needed that. Um, instead of building it uh, from the GitHub page, I just decided to have a search on here and I, I found some people that were um, actively updating the OBS VK Capture um, package. I forgot which one it was, I'm pretty sure it was here's this one this one was 10 days ago so yeah you can um search packages here if you want to find packages that you may not have available normally or you don't want to uh, build it from github um, you can just find it from here and basically you'll download these um, files which are .ymp and when you launch them um, it will launch in a um, little window here from yast and it will install the repos and then the software to in be installed so i had a plasma 6 desktop um, i added it through here to add all these repos and um yeah it installed perfectly fine now the um package installer oh like to install different packages is uh, zipper which zipper is quite nice i would say um if we do like i don't know sudo zipper install um we'll do uh, kmouth uh, which is a speech synth synthesizer front end on KDE. And we have the software thing opened. So we're going to do this again. But it is a very pleasing uh, package installer, I would say. It just, you know, the following new package is going to be installed. Kmouth. Uh, why? Yes, to install. Um, and it goes through and it shows you relatively good progress for installing different uh, packages that you, you need. Now, um, the next part is uh, gaming on OpenSUSE as um, I had been, you know, obviously I'm a gamer myself when it comes to you know, this channel itself, it is mostly about gaming. So I've got to add a gaming part, um, which it's been mostly fine. I would say, uh, I was using X 11 for the majority of the week as I was streaming and I needed, um, browser docs, I guess you could say I could run it in Wayland, but the main thing is that, um, on the older plasma five version, the mouse pointer is a bit off compared to X 11. It just feels weird when I aim with it. Um, while on X 11, it feels really sensitive, similar to windows. So I had been using X 11 for a week on, on open SUSE and it had been pretty um, awesome. I would say with the latest kernel and latest Mesa, uh, the point release of Mesa, which is uh, when that, that time was uh, 23.2.1, um, games were running great. I was playing Apex, I was playing Overwatch 2, um, and I was also playing Lethal Company. If you don't know, this, that's a new game where you run into this room with a bunch of friends and it has proximity chat and you have to grab this loot and, and you know, get away from these monsters. It's kind of like a horror game. Um, that was really fun. I'll show some different clips from um, playing games, but overall, um, playing games on OpenSUSE has been quite enjoyable. Uh, there hasn't been any major problems and the games have been running great 
um, what can I say? You know, like mostly the same when it comes to like something like Fedora. It's going to perform uh, mostly the same. If I did some benchmarks of the two distros, there probably wouldn't be that much of a difference. Uh, it would be pretty uh, negligible. Uh, but overall, the experience has been quite um, amazing. I, I actually I had been playing Sea of Thieves as well. That was another game uh, that was uh, quite funny <laughs> playing that because I hadn't played it in a while and um, got to play it with my friends and it was it was quite fun. Now, also when you first install OpenSUSE, the H.264 codec isn't pre-installed for Firefox. So you do have to install that if you want to get websites like Twitch and kick.com to be working as they use um, a specific H.264 codec for um, decoding uh, video. So that's one thing uh, just to be wary of. If you install OpenSUSE Tumbleweed, you also get FlatHub pre-installed on the system. So that's quite nice. It does install it as system and <clears throat> I've had a quite um, interesting problem with a specific application, which is GPU screen recorder. Um, if you don't know what GPU screen recorder is, it is a basically a screen recorder that is uh, tries to use most of your resources on the GPU instead of like OBS. It mostly splits it between the CPU and GPU where the CPU has to send information to the GPU still, but this app tries to do it all on the GPU and the app works as you can see it's launched but um when using it it doesn't record at all either on x11 or on wayland and it's because of how like flat pack um is set up with different permissions i guess you could say um i was talking to the developer of gpu screen recorder and he said uh based off my logs that i sent to him running uh flat pack through the terminal that um my um permissions or something i was running the application as root um when but i wasn't using sudo to run it so it was really really odd um it wasn't a Able to grab my screen so it basically would just fail i can test it right now if you try to record start recording ask for the password and then it stops recording usually it would come up with an error but i've hidden that error to not um, come up anymore because it was quite annoying uh but yeah that's the only issue i've had with um flat pack applications um it must be something to do with how OpenSUSE sets up uh, flat pack packages as they run it as a root application and also when you first install OpenSUSE, um you're using user that you create doesn't get included in the wheel group so you have to put in your password to install any flatpak application or updating flatpak applications you have to enter your password um, but that's easily fixable by just going into the yast um, configure thing if we just go into yast itself type in our password and then we go to <clears throat> the user and group management we can literally just add our user that we created and we can just add it to the wheel group and then we won't have to enter our password password anymore um, that basically fixes the issue now like i said before um you know open susa tumbleweed um isn't an a alternative to fedora um, as i set this as the title of this video um i would say it is a alternative to fedora but um you know obviously everyone has their own opinions and what they like to use so if you like using fedora because of its six month schedule that was just one thing i thought of is like fedora um, updates has like a feature release every six months but you know fedora still kind of like a not rolling but it still gets you know really quick updates compared to other distros so i would definitely say if you you know if you want a rolling release of distro but you don't want to use arch i think tumbleweed is a great option for that you can obviously use leap as well which updates every year so that we get a yearly uh, feature update which a bunch of different packages um but in my opinion um i am going to use open suso I'm going to continue to use OpenSUSE because um, I enjoy, uh, you know, what they do. I do like their brand as well. They are doing an overhaul of the logo, um, which is kind of sad to see as I do like the logo right now. Um, but, you know, that's perfectly fine. Uh, the, the one that is probably going to win, it does look quite appealing anyway. So, um, yeah, in my conclusion, I'm going to you know, continue to play games on OpenSUSE. I'm going to continue to, you know, edit videos on here and, you know, watch different types of content and such. Um, and, yeah, if you guys uh, enjoyed this video, I would definitely give it a like. We have hit 1.5K subscribers already, which is just, like, unbelievable to think. Um, I never 
would have thought I would reach 1.5k subscribers on, on, on a YouTube channel ever, uh, but I want to thank you for that, um, all of you, I really do appreciate um, all of the comments that you uh, leave on this videos that I make, and all the support that you bring, I really, really do appreciate it so uh you know if you want to like the video you can definitely subscribe thank you for my two supporters as well um and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video peace